ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel my name is Nick and this is Idaho Up and today we're going to be covering the install of Saddleman's sissy bar pad onto a sissy bar now this sounds like a really simple install and it really is however I did learn some tips and tricks along the way that you might be curious to see so with that said let's get into this Okay guys, let's get this sissy bar pad installed. One thing I do want to point out is that they left the polar attached to the zipper. Um, this little tag was on the polar when I got it and it says remove polar tab after installation. And the reason they do that is so it doesn't look like funny hanging off your seat, but they wanted to leave the polar on for you so that you could open it up and see the bolt patterns on the inside because there's different bolt patterns on this. And what you're going to do is you're going to poke a hole through the bolt pattern you use. Um, they include this little template to help you out along with the instructions. And if you'll notice, the A and C ones on the bottom match up to um, those two bolts right there. So they'd be right there and you'd poke through there on the leather. Um, and if, if depending on your setup you're gonna pick a different pattern so this one the only one I can really fill through here because the instructions tell you to fill for them is C and the reason I know that that one's C and not D is because I can flip this up and line A up AC up and then I can feel that it's sitting under C so how do you determine what pattern to use well in the instructions they're gonna give you four different options the first one is universal mounting or Harley Davidson sissy bars without center plate. The second one is Harley Davidson Road Kings. The third one is Harley Davidson sissy bar with center plate. And the fourth one is Harley Davidson sissy bars with a triangular hole pattern. In my case, I'm going to be using the triangular hole pattern. And like I said, I'm going to be using both C, C, and C to install the sissy bar pad. As a side note, if you haven't seen my Edward Ritchie Sissy Bar install video, I've been running that bar for a while now and I think it's a pretty solid option. So go ahead and check out that video. I'll put the link right here. So moving on, as always guys, if you get an opportunity to learn through my mistakes, you should go ahead and take that opportunity. Um, the mistake I made in this process is I bought the Universal Mounting Hardware Kit from Saddleman and this is not going to work with a triangular hole pattern. Let me explain. So just pretend that's your triangle hole pattern. The bottom mount will work just fine. But as you see, when you try to put the top mount in, it straightens it out to that um, A pattern. So this is more for a straight up and down sissy bar style like this. Um, Saddleman also sent me two and I believe I only purchased one um, But things like this always seem to come in handy, so I'm sure I'll use them for something for example um, This is an old air cleaner cover that I had on my Sportster because I had a Burley brand air cleaner on there And you could switch out the covers. I am actually going to use this as my mounting hardware plate I'm going to flip it upside down just like that and as you can see the holes match up so C and I'm going to use these two sides on this vent as the other hole and then eventually maybe I'll put like a decorative bolt in there or something to clean it up but that's my fix on that one also it's a black color more like the bike so I'm probably going to prefer it to that anyway however I will be using their their bolts which are chrome okay here's where the metal is meets the meat this is when you're going to poke a hole through the leather so make sure you got your holes lined up correctly um, i'm going to give you a better look in here which uh, see that the other holes are in there and if you, you can feel the bolts under them when you don't have the leather over them so what i'm going to do is line up those two c's and then like i said i can fill that one up top through the leather so I'm going to just be real careful, take my time, line them up. I'm going to make 
make sure I can fill that C still, which I can. I think I'm gonna start with that one. So, put it down. And stick it through. I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of comfortable because you just spent a pretty penny on this leather sissy bar seat and you're already popping holes through the leather. There you go, there's the holes. Okay, from there I've decided to use these bolts that came in the kit to mount the sissy bar pad. It's gonna look something like this. It's gonna go through that. And then this spacer that was also in the kit is going to go there. And then the bar is going to sit in between this and the sissy bar pad, which is screwed down and sandwiches that bar to hold it. But before we do that, I got to make the holes bigger on the leather so that they can accommodate these bolts. To do that, I'm just going to simply take the tool I used to make the holes and I'm going to push it all the way through, stretching that hole out. Try not to stick yourself in the hand. And then I'm just going to slowly step it up with something like a bigger screwdriver. And that one might be fine there. Of course it had drywall on it so I'm getting crap all over my leather. Test that out. It could be a little easier if I stepped it up one more time. Again, this one's got drywall on it. That's all right, I'll clean it up. That'll be about perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and test out each hole just so I don't struggle when I'm trying to mount it. Make sure they're working. So far so good. And then the last one. Okay guys, I had to pause for a minute there because I was having trouble getting that third bolt in this top hole and that's because there's already a bolt there. Um, and it's probably why I could fill that hole and I couldn't fill the other ones through that leather as well. So I got on YouTube and found Salomon's short video on installing a sissy bar pad and they're calling that a safety bolt. So what I'm gonna do is just move that to that top position right there so that I can use that hole. What do they mean by safety bolt? I don't know. They didn't really explain in their video, so I'm assuming that'll do. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that bolt. So there you have it guys, all the bolts are in the seat, or the sissy bar pad. They're all grabbing really good, so I think we're good to go. Let's get this on the bike.
Okay guys, that's it for this one. It was a beautiful day for a ride. My hands got a little chilly, but other than that, I was completely warm. If you guys are enjoying my content, please do me a favor and help the channel grow by hitting the subscribe button, liking this video, and ringing that bell so I can keep pushing content at you. As far as the sissy bar pad goes, I think it turned out alright. I've got it adjusted just where Jackie likes it, where it was comfortable for her, and I think it looks pretty good in that position. So until next time guys, keep up.